Now we have mics on each side. Can you raise hand for the question? Go ahead and start. Lance, what, what hurts most about this, this particular outcome? Oh. So we had opportunities and we played so hard. And we had some guys playing some of their first extended football, playing extremely, extremely hard and, and well. And, and um, you know, we all can look at a, you know, multiple plays there that you probably wish that they just go a little differently. That could have been a different outcome. And um, you know, great crowd, great atmosphere, environment. Um, proud of our football team because you know, I think the gap's really close. But not enough tonight. That sort of the message in there. Yeah. When you're talking to those guys yeah. after this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're close, but again, we can make some plays and some opportunities and stuff like that that, that has to be better. And, and again, when you play ranked or football teams and, and things like that, you got to be able to do that. And we did. And uh, so, come up short. You mentioned plays that you could look at. Are there any of those plays that stand out to you at all like that could have gone differently, or is it more holistic? Well, I, I mean, we. we Full pick six that puts us up 18. Okay, um, we fumble upon it midfield. We have uh, you know fair catch interference. It's a 15 yard penalty. Um, you know I think Cole tried to make plays and, and, and as many great plays as he made and how well he competed. There's you know the fourth down throw it's going to get thrown anyway. And you got to throw the ball, but but the other one I think he tried to make a real difficult throw, but. Well, they're just some of the turnovers but uh, that I'm, I'm hitting, but you know, there's other plays in there uh, that, that probably happen, and there's other reasons. So I'm not, it's not on two, three, four players or anything like that. It's, you know, you want to lose to, as a team, and, but those are some of the ones I think that, that can, people are probably thinking about as well. You mentioned the gap closing. Are there ways today that you saw that gap closing, the things that stand out to you? Yeah. No. I can't say that one particular thing. I just think our kids would play hard. And, uh, you know, we're, we're a more talented football team than we were two years ago. And I think a year ago on the road, we, we, we had some miscues early. and snowballed on us and this time we we didn't have a great start and we battled back and I think that's a sign of growth um, yeah I, I would probably start there I mean that's a that's a good football team that's a good as offensive line as there maybe is in the country with the experience and, and those things and um, defending conference champs the experienced quarterback uh, good speed at receiver I, I think there and then defensively Extremely aggressive, so all those things to, to do that. But you know, we don't we don't get extra points for being close. You mentioned Cole a little bit there, but for Cole and the offense as a whole, just how you feel like they did throughout the full quarters. Um, you know, yeah. it's sporadic, but I thought our coaches and, and the guys executed a game plan really well. We were able to get a lot of different looks. I thought Tory Lachlan did some nice things for us. Um, you know, uh, you know, again, I, I thought, again, Cole Ballard is mature beyond his years, and, and uh, he keeps battling, and, and, you know, he doesn't let things rattle him, and, and he did a nice job, I thought, but at, uh, at the end of the day, I mean, okay. <laughs> She's good. <laughs> She's good. <laughs> okay. Um, and, uh, um, you know, uh, but yeah, it's you, you let the lead slip away, and it's always disappointing in, in multiple areas. We saw Jason warm up and be in pads. What was his status for the game? Uh, he was available. He, he was he was cleared to play, um, but uh, just based on practice time and things like that, we had made the decision that it was going to be best to, to go with Cole and, and, and see how that was, and he was available if something.
and then in the first half we saw you frustrated, I think, with the officials. Oh, really, yeah. <laughs> what aspects frustrated you the most there? Only call two pass interference calls and don't have the right numbers. Okay, I mean they're out in the middle of the open. Okay, it's, if if you make a pass interference call, I think you should get the number right, no matter what color our jerseys and numbers are. It's 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 not like in the middle of a pile. Uh, that's a that's two instances. I there's there's others. You said you don't get points for being close, but do you feel the significance of this game being competitive, whether it's an immediacy or, or long-lasting effects of that? Um, um, no, our kids are disappointed. I mean, again, we're not, I've said it from the start, you know, two years ago, we're not in the moral victory business, so I don't want to start acting like I am now um, because this was a winnable football. That's that's gonna that that stings, and we've had two of those in a row now. And uh, so, um, but yeah, I think at this stage of the season and where we're at in some spots to keep battling the way we are, I think that's the sign that that I guess maybe I'll be not who the opponent was, not not where it's at in the in state. That that doesn't matter to me. It's a matter of we played a ranked football team with a third string quarterback, and we battled really hard. But you know, other people have to play the third string quarterback. So it's not, that's not the story. The story is that this group continues to, to show improvement, resolve, and we're going to find a way to win these games in the near future. How do you uh, help your seniors keep their heads up? A lot of them made big contributions, but didn't come out with the result they would have wanted for senior night. Um, like I said, you got to show up on Monday and go back to work. And we're going to find a way to end the regular season with a, with a victory. Okay, that's going to be important. And it's important that we, we find a way to win so we can, um, I say, win an eighth football game and find a way to, uh, in, you know, then use that as we get ready to prepare for our second consecutive bowl game. And um, that's the way I think. And, Hopefully you, you turn the page and you go because if we'd be sitting here talking about a win. We'd be talking about making sure we get them back to balance on Monday so we can go go get them a win. So um, uh, I've said that many times now over the last three years is that it, it has to remain consistent for us with the expectations when when we when we come in the building on a weekly basis and we can't let the highs be too high and the lows be too low. Um, yeah, I, it should stay. You know, we're all disappointed. Um, it's why you put all this time in and you compete and you fight and scratch and, and then you don't, you, you come up short, and especially when you think you have a chance. So that part, that was, but um, we have a lot of ways yet to send this group out in a pretty special way, and, and that's the full intention, and we'll, we'll, we'll work on doing that. Anything else, Coach? Thank you. Thanks, everyone.